Hello everybody, Georgia B back again. Today I'm going to show you how I made this lovely card. Now, I made a mistake on this card. The trellis here, I did it too light and it blended in with the background. So I'm going to rectify that and do it a little bit darker this time. To make this card, I used the stamp sets Forever Rain Boots. And I haven't got a stamp out. I need just this one. And this die. And all I used is the flowers and the flower pots. I also did the trellis out the dies on this. And I used stamps that elegantly said for thank you. Card bases I've got. I've used soft suede, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, along with a white piece of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have another piece of white, basic white. This is. I've got a sticker on it. Um, a five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I have a bit of this. Um, good. Time DP DSP. That's retiring. Um, and this is five and a half by three and five eighths. No, three and three quarters by five and a half. And that will sit on there like that. On there. Right, I've already cut the trellises out and the plant pots. <clears throat> now I've gone these in Granny Apple Green. There's four of them. And they will stick on the wood. And I've got three plant pots. One in Balmy Blue, one in Daffodil Delight and one in Highland Heather. So all we've got to do is find some flowers that will match these pots and I've got no ink out so I'm going to do a pink a red and a a pink, a red and a pink, a red and a guess what Pink, red, and a orange. Let's do an orange flower. So I've got pumpkin pie, real red, and blushing bride. That will do our flowers. So I'll keep them for there. Move that out of the way. Oh, and you also need some scraps for the flowers, which I've got here. And for the sentiment. So. Blushing bride flowers first. Nice. Clean it up. Then our pumpkin pie. Then our real red. 
how to put them on this one. Well, I knew it would go pink one day. Right. And now we have to do our thank you. That's what I do on this bit. It's better. I tried to cut it like um, the seed packet, but the sentiment was just too big for the seed packet, so I had to cut it down myself. And as I can't, or I'm not cutting straight at the moment for some unknown reason, I use my trimmer. So, little sentiment. Oh, the other side. I thought I dropped it off then. Right, now we've got this and we're going to cut them out. Now, I don't want a load of white. So, what I did was I pulled it down right on the top. So I'd get less white on the top and then I just trim the underneath bit. I'll show you when I've done it. And then I just trim this white off wherever it's quite thick. One more. Right. Put this die back before I lose it. Right. All I did was go in and out the flower as I don't want loads of white. I mean, I could have cut these out anyway with scissors and not use the die. That would have taken forever. Right. 
as one. That one's all right because there's um, that one's all right. Hardly any white bit on it, or it's evenly cut. Should I say? Now then, let's work out what flower pot is going to have what. Right, the pink one, and the red one, and the orange one. No, it's that way. So I'm just going to glue these, put some glue on the flower pot, and place the flowers down. Placing the flowers low enough down to hide this line at the top of the pot. And they are going to have dimensionals on. Right, that's all them done. No need that. Right. Now we're going to glue these on to make a trellis. So, a tiny spot of glue on the points and the middle it's one good thing about these little pots they do have a small point you can do that and I'm going to place that about there the next one I would have liked to put these up on um, dimensionals, but there's no way you can get something so thin on dimensionals. Right, these, the points are touching each other. That's where they join. And we just keep going up until we get all four on. Including putting glue on my fingers. the missed one and this one goes up here I 
last one. I'm going to turn that around like that. And then we pop this on here. And then it goes on this one. Put this on the inside. Right, so background done. Now we have to place these where we want them and that goes there if I put the thank you on first in the middle then I know where to put my plants And there we have it, our card for today. My thank you doesn't look very straight, does it? It's not. That's better. So if you like my cards, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, usually on Monday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.